Hello everyone, in the previous video we have studied about the adaptation for self-pollination that is we have seen four different types of adaptation the first adaptation is homogamy, the second one is the cleistogamy, third is the geocopy and we have finally seen about the relationship of anther and the stigma in this video we will study about the adaptation of cross-pollination so the first adaptation of cross-pollination before studying that we have to know what is cross-pollination we have already studied that the transfer of pollen grain from the anther of one flower of one plant to the stigma of another flower of another plant of the same species is called as cross-pollination cross-pollination is otherwise called as xenogamy or allogamy and it depends on the external agencies such as abiotic or biotic agencies Coming for the adaptations of cross-pollination, the first adaptation is called as diclinae or homosexuality. In this condition, the, it is either the plant would be either staminate or it is pistillate. It contains either the male reproductive unit of the flower or the female reproductive unit of the flower. If it contains the male reproductive unit of the flower, it is called as staminate. If it contains only the female reproductive unit of the flower, it is called as the pistillate. And the examples are mulberry and papaya. Coming for the second type of adaptation, which is called as dichogamy. In case of dichogamy, the maturation of the male and the female reproductive unit of the flower takes place at the different time. Okay. Since the it since it takes place at the different time, compulsorily the cross pollinating event has to take place. Here we have two types of dichogamy. One is called has the protandry, the other one is called has protogyny. In case of protandry, the male reproductive unit of the flower matures first. The male reproductive unit of the flower matures first, and in this condition, the example is cotton and salvia. In this protandry flowers. The female unit matures later stage. In the second condition, it is called as protogyny, where the female reproductive unit of the flower matures first. And the example is Mirabilis jalpa. If the male reproductive unit of the flower matures first, that is, if the anthers mature first, it releases the pollen grain. Since the female reproductive unit of the same flower is not yet mature, it is being transferred by the external agency to another flower for fertilization. In case of this protogyny similarly, if the female reproductive unit of the flower matures first, it gives way for the matured uh, uh, pollen grains which come from different plant. The third condition and the third adaptation of cross pollination is called as heterostyle. In this condition, the flowers will produce two different types of uh, filament and the style. Some flowers will produce short filament, long style. Some flowers will produce short style, long filament. So this heterostyle is otherwise called as dimorphic heterostyle because it produces different types of style and the filament. So taking the example of primrose and oxalis, let's study the condition of heterostyle. In case of primrose, we have two types of flowers. One is the flower with long style and small filament the other condition where the style is very short and the filament is very long this first condition where the style is very long and the filament is short it is called has pin the condition where the style is short where has the filaments are long it is called has thrum in the second type of example that is oxalis we have three different types of flowers being produced pin Trump and normal. In case of pin, we have already studied, we have short filament, long style. In case of trump, we have long filament and short style, whereas in normal, we have equal length of the, and the filament and the style. Okay. In case of the heterostyly condition, if this is the flower, now the stigma is exposed to the external environment. Since it is exposed to the external environment, any external agency can bring the pollen grains and help in fertilization. In case of thrum, 
the anthers are exposed and the uh, stigma is inside enclosed inside the flower since the anthers are exposed when once the anthers are mature and release the pollen grain the pollen grains are carried by the external agency to another stigma on another another flower of another plant this is the condition of heterostyle the fourth type of adaptation for cross pollination is called as hercogamy where herco meaning barrier so there is a barrier of for the pollen grain where it avoids self pollination that is the contact of the pollen grain with the stigma of the same flower so in case of calatrophus which is an example of hercogamy there is a balloon shaped structure or instead a bag like structure which is called as pollinium the pollen grains are enclosed inside the pollinium if this pollinium falls on the stigma of the same flower there is no fertilization and insects play an important role has the external agency which carries this pollinium and it deposits on the stigma of another plant where the pollinium burst open to release the pollen grain to enhance the pollination process the hercogamy the other example is called as the viola tricolor we can see in case of viola tricolor where the stigma is pro protected with the lid or it is called as flap okay if the cross pollination has to takes place which is being favored by the external agencies such as insect the insects push off this flap and it releases the pollen grains on the stigma which helps in cross pollination in the hercogamy condition the barrier such as the pollinium or the flap on the stigma plays has a barrier which prevents the self pollination that is it prevents the falling of the pollen grain of the same flower on the same uh, stigma of the same flower the fifth adaptation for cross pollination is called as prepotency which is seen in case of apple here we have a stigma and the pollen grain from the anther of the same flower in case of prepotency the stigma will not accept the pollen grain from the same flower but instead it accepts only the pollen grain which comes from different flower of different plant or of the same plant in case of prepotency the first preference is given for the pollen grain which comes from the different flower okay but only if this does not does not come only then the preference is given for the pollen grain of the anther of the same flower so but anyway the germination is 100% assured the next condition and the next adaptation for cross pollination is called as self incompatibility which is seen in case of potato as well as tobacco here we have the stigma and we have the pollen grain from the same flower here the stigma if it does not cut, get the pollen grain of different plant then there is no fertilization event which is taking place here there is 100% assurance of germination here the germination does not take place if the stigma does not get the pollen grain from the different plant okay so the main difference between the prepotency and self incompatibility is that in case of prepotency the first preference is given for the pollen grain from the different plant and then only the preference is given for the pollen grain of the same flower whereas in case of incompatibility there is only one preference that is if the pollen grain comes from the different plant then the fertilization takes place if the pollen grain from the same flower falls on the stigma then no fertilization even takes place so here the germination is 100% assured here the germination doesn't take place if the pollen grain comes from the different flower so here you can say that the cross pollination is 100% assured here even the self pollination also takes place if the cross pollination does not takes place the seventh adaptation for the cross pollination is the suppression of one sex in this condition if the plant is bisexual that is it contains both the male reproductive unit and the female reproductive unit one unit either the male or the female will mature let's take the example where male matures where the female reproductive unit means non functional in other condition the female matures and the male 
reproductive unit of the flower remains non-functional. In this video, we have studied the seven different adaptations for cross-pollination that is dicleny, dicogamy, heterogamy, hercogamy, prepotency, self-incompatibility, suppression of one sex. In our next video, we will study the different adaptation for different external agencies. Until then, happy learning from H2O.